Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Last week we started the new chicken coop for the chickens, and this week we're gonna be finishing it. So we're adding on the trim, the chicken ramp, the door, painting, all the little details. So if you wanna see how this thing turns out, then just keep watching. Hey guys, and welcome back to Building a Chicken Coop. Hey guys, and welcome back to the vlog. This is part two of building a chicken coop and it better be the only other part there is. <laughs> so last we left you guys, I had all of the siding up except for uh, one of the windows and I finished that. And now today I'm going to start with the roof and then the trim and then the nest box and hopefully the painting and I'm done. Like obviously this week, not just today. But I realized I never even showed you guys my chickens in the vlog, our chickens. So over here, who's over here? We have uh, Pinkie Pie is the white one and that is Queen Elizabeth, the gray one. And they are our snackers as well as Henrietta is our biggest snacker. She's the other white one, but I think she's, yeah, she's down there taking a bath. And then Silky is the one who just doesn't really seem to want to be near us, eh? She doesn't want to eat from our hands. She doesn't. She doesn't like the mealworms from our hands. She's always the last one for the snacks. She's always we still love her, but yeah, she is always. yes, she is. So this is the little chicken coop. Actually, I'll show you guys that um, we got for free from uh, my sister's husband's mom, and it said it could fit three to four chickens. And it's a lie. It's like one of those ones you'd get from like um, Walmart or something like that. And it's clearly just one of those things where they're jumping on a trend of chickens in backyards and not really caring about the chickens themselves. And I care about the chickens. So as soon as I saw this, I was like. I feel so bad for these chickens because if I hadn't, so I bought this net separately. It's, it can be electrified. We didn't do that um, because we have no need for it. And also I don't want the chickens to be harmed. They like to stick their head through to get extra worms. If I need it in the future, we will use it. But for now I'm okay not using it. But this is all they have. Like this is the run and it's supposed to also house their food and their water. Um, and clearly there is no room in there at all. And then just that little box for bed, which the box isn't crazy tiny. You can fit about like three to two chickens in it. Some of them sleep in the nesting boxes and also go to the bathroom. In it. So it's just not as sanitary as I want it to be. So that's why I wanted to build another chicken coop. So yeah, with um, more nesting boxes, it's probably like six and we don't have six chickens. Yeah. We only have four. But we're going to get more in the spring, right? Oh yeah. And uh, we have roosting bars. Oh my gosh. I'm like, who's this man in my backyard? It's my husband. But, and we have roosting bars um, for the chickens and ours, whereas this one had like little ones, but they're really low on the floor because that box obviously is not that big. So we are going to start to finish the chicken coop. Okay, so I attempted to, you kind of saw, I was gonna make the box lid for the nesting coop. Is that what it's called? Nesting boxes, coop, lots of bird words. Um, I was gonna make the lid for it and you have to use four inch screws to put the sides in together, blah, blah. Um, and you pre-drill for it. And for whatever reason I pre-drilled and the, um, the nail just kept catching on the words, the screwdriver, and so it stripped the screws. So I need to pre-drill a bigger hole and I think just put more pressure on it, unfortunately, which like I don't want to break the, the drill. And so I got frustrated and now I have to go back and get more screws because I only bought exactly what I needed because I was like, oh, that's a simple enough project. I just need eight screws to like doot, doot, doot. Um, I thought the, the screwing part would be the easy part. Anyway, so I need a quick win. So I went ahead and cut the boards for the trim and I'm gonna go ahead and put that right up there and then go back and try that again. But uh, yeah, like I said, I need a quick win and just something pretty and it just feels like I'm doing something correct. And I already did it on the back of the coop. I already have this trim up on the back. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put it up right here right now so I can have a little win, a little bit of confidence as I go and try that again.
Good morning, guys. I am a year older. <laughs> I had my birthday yesterday, and so because of that, the chicken coop, um, I was a little bit slower with it on Monday, and then I kind of took the day off on Tuesday, put a couple pieces of trim up on the back and stuff. Um, and I actually finished the um, nesting box lid. Woo, figured that out, got the screws that I needed. So that is all done and on here, and it's not fitted in yet um, because I have to add a piece of trim here, but I need to cut it at a 30 degree angle the whole thing and so I have my saw circular saw that I think can do that I was looking it up um, on Google trying to figure that out so hopefully we can figure that out but I realized I was starting the trim pieces like around the edge those are bugs guys like this is where I live now um, but I was starting the trim pieces on the side of the box here and I realized I actually have to do this trim piece first and then everything else can kind of go off of that so I need to get that done and I'm gonna go ahead and install our beautiful little windows with the awesome bubble wrap so those are going to go in and then from what I've seen um, people do is that they put hard wire cloth I don't know if they put it on the inside or the outside of the window um, just to keep predators out as well when they have it open for ventilation so we're going to do that at the end of it because um, I do have hardware cloth for when I do the run as well so we're going to put these in and then we're going to do the trim and we're just going to hopefully get all that done so I can start painting maybe tomorrow I have to check the weather for rain we hadn't had rain in like a week and then we got some last night not a ton um, but a little bit so I want to get this primed and painted so it doesn't get too wet and start rotting or anything like that obviously it wouldn't start right away but I just don't want too much moisture on it but yeah so we're just gonna put these in it is later uh, I've done the trim I've had a couple water breaks and I cut the ramp to size 39 inches that's my door that I also cut um, and it was basically like a steep downhill fall for the chickens because I forgot that I raised the chicken coop up so they could have a dust bath underneath and also just to make it level for where it is so I recut it and I also cut it on this 2x4 treated board because it asked me to get a 2x4 treated board but it didn't tell me when to use it. I used the 4x4s for the legs and this is the only other piece of wood that's like touching the ground so I'm assuming they meant it for the chicken ramp, they just didn't say it. I'm going to use it for that. Um, so I had to recut and then I also cut this adorable little door <laughs> perfectly. I cut it perfectly. The only problem is I did the siding the wrong way. So. The perfect size it's nice and snug in there the little latchy latch but uh it's the wrong way so i need to do it this way the only thing that was like even if i did it that way oh no it actually kind of would match up um but no even if i did it that way i don't know if i have a piece that perfectly matches up so i kind of just want to leave it the way it is because it's really hot and I'm tired and I just want to be done this project already because my bedroom really needs to get finished guys it's like my husband needs help all the things my children need to see me I mean they're out here with me all the time but anyways adorable little chicken door I mean I like this right I mean, like, like that stripe isn't that just like a cute little detail um anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and do the chicken ramp all I gotta do is nail these little babies on and then nail it into place and I got their little chicken ramp oh also I'll probably have to make more of these things then I only have enough for that length and then I'm gonna build the door possibly now if not I'll start that tomorrow we just gotta keep going my children found me <laughs>
chickens are patiently waiting for their new coop. Just a couple more days, girls, I hope. I promise, maybe. Okay, so I have one last cut to make on, um, with a circular saw. I still have to use the table saw, miter saw, whatever it is, um, for some last trim and all that things. But, <laughs> it died. It died. Literally, I have like this much left to do. Thankfully, my dad's a tool hoarder. And we have a second one. <laughs> Finally time to paint. Let's do this.
just saw me paint this entire thing white prime it white and because showing me painting it white again because that's the color that I chose surprise would be monotonous I'm just gonna go ahead and do some YouTube magic we're gonna change it to yes okay so clearly it's the next day I finished the painting just after dinner last night right before bed um, and I still have got some couple details left that I'm hoping I can finish up so I can wrap this video up for you guys and then next week we will have like I want to do the deep litter system is that what it's called it's called something anyways and then I'm, I need to build the run still so this will be where they can have an enclosed area because we do have a hawk that has found our our hens um, and so we want to keep them protected when we're like eating lunch or something and we can't be out here with them because I do like them to be out as much as possible and then um, I've also got to figure out <laughs> Molly did some art one second and then I've also got to figure out how to put the lid on this box um, I did have my dad look at it and he came up with a couple ideas so we'll figure something out but let's go ahead and finish up these last little details hopefully so I can get this video to you guys tomorrow and there's Molly's art <laughs> I forget too, the paint that I'm using is Bear Pro Satin Exterior Paint in the color Polar Bear and it is the most beautiful melted marshmallow. Okay, so I got all of the last minute details I wanted except for this trim on. So I got, went ahead and got the board. I need to prime and paint it. I might actually just put it in before I do that, but um, I just need to cut it to size and then try and cut that angle again and get the hinges on. So my plan right now is that it is four o'clock on Saturday and I want to have this video to you guys tomorrow. So I'm going to end the vlog here. My neighbor is also doing construction, so I waited for two minutes for him to stop making that noise so I could film this. So if you hear that, I'm sorry. I'm going to stop the vlog here and I'm going to go ahead and show you what I've done so far. Um, and then if I happen to get this on before tomorrow and film it, then I will include that as an end clip. Um, but otherwise, this is where we're at. I've got one last thing and I'm so close. It's so frustrating. Um, but you guys, I basically did it. I feel like I can't celebrate yet because I'm not fully done. But I built a chicken coop and it's crazy and it's exciting and it was really hard and I learned a lot and I'm ready to take a break. But we have to build a chicken run. Um, we do have hawks, I think, in our backyard that have found the chickens. We had one that tried to swoop down already. I think I may have said that. Um, and so I want to have a run that I'm okay leaving them out in like when we're at lunch or if we want to pop out for a minute and have them still be out because um, I do like them to free range as much as possible. We have our little fencing so they're not because we have a road right beside us too right there that goes down to some houses that people go up and down all the time. Anyways, I'm gibber gabbering now. So I'm going to build a chicken run. Um, so I will have a full video next week, hopefully if I've got this done of the chicken coop and the chicken run and it all set up and the chickens inside but for now I will just basically show you the bare bones of our completed almost chicken coop ah, ah it's weird because I feel like celebrating but I also still have to do this so I'm like I can't fully celebrate but anyways thank you guys so much for watching if you like this give it a thumbs up I will have the plants linked down below there he is I gotta go um and make sure you're subscribed so you can guys can see the full 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 reveal all right thank you guys see you next week
we doing? Henrietta, I do not have a snack, I'm sorry. I know, they're your favorite. Very sorry. Okay, we forgot to film it, but we put the door up, yay! Yay! The door is up! You were supposed to open it. You. 